We're going to do some uh, cross side uh, top tonight. I want to start with a um, cross side top position that isn't worked that much, but I think it's super important. Um, we work a lot controlling the shoulder line and cross sides. Uh, sometimes when you first get a pass, if you immediately go up to the shoulder line, uh, it can be really hard to secure and the bottom person will either pull guard or go to turtle position. And so, let me borrow your Todd if you don't mind. So, if, uh, for example, if Todd's in bottom, I somehow manage to score a pass and he comes up and maybe does like a straight jacket posture, his head's tilted here, and I come up for the shoulder girdle and he's gonna counter, he's just gonna go up to quarter position or pull guard or whatever it is that he wants to do there. And so you get kind of screwed there. If sometimes if you just go right up to upper body, go ahead and, yeah, counter, yeah, there. And so um, what I find is that sometimes it's easier to secure the hips and then work your way up a little more systematically. So we're gonna do that. Instead of going up to the upper body, we're gonna come in and secure the hip girdle. So we're gonna do that. So um, we're gonna start it from the cross side position and we're gonna work down low on the hip girdle. And so uh, the first one, I'm gonna have uh, my knee on one side and my elbow on the other side. And I'm gonna completely envelop his hip girdle um, on all sides. So from here, my knee is going to come up and it's going to be just below the belt line. Where's my knee? Just below the belt line. My elbow comes over just below the belt line. My hip comes forward and back till it contacts his leg. And then my chest sinks down on it. And then I apply a little bit of expanded chest. And what I'm looking for with this hand is I'm testing, is there any space from my knee to my elbow where I can insert a finger? There shouldn't be any space there. So now I got his hip really well controlled and this hand is extra. I usually just grab the elbow on this side with that one. And so now if he does upa, yeah, not gonna work. If he attempts a shrimp, I'm really tight on that. And so I should be able to stay really tight on his hip. Does that make sense? All right, so let's work that position. Uh, once you get that position, I want you to check it from your knee all the way to your elbow. There shouldn't be any space. You couldn't even fit a playing card in there. Really nice and tight. Okay, let's try.